Okay, this demo is going to be largely unscripted. I'm just going to go through the process of trying to uh, edit the metadata of some sounds. So I'm going to create a new database. I'm going to find some sounds to scan in. Now this is a real mishmash of stuff. Some things have uh, metadata embedded, some of them don't. So it'll be a good sort of example. I won't bother doing the entire, whatever it is, 22 gigs, but I'll do, do a bit of it here. Okay, maybe I will. So let's have a look here. Um, I've toggled on some of the, the fields that I'm interested in. So I've got like manufacturer library. I can just kind of just briefly go through it and just get a sense of how much of it is sort of empty, how much of it is, is kind of done. So let's see, let's start right at the top here. So I'm gonna to toggle my row height so I can actually see what this is. This is by three maze. So there's a number of ways I could do this. This is only, um, well, they've actually got two folders, but if I went into here, I could see all the path names. So oh, there's three, and there's some weird trailing Unicode character at the end there. Um, so I could do them one at a time, or I'll just go and do an advanced search in path name for three maze. Okay. Now, I could just hit E to edit. I've clicked in manufacturer. I'll do three maze. And by doing that now, if I now right click on manufacturer, I can assign, and this will constantly keep like an updated list of uh, all of the manufacturers. Um, that works for quite a few of the fields. Category is one of them, library is another. So I could do it that way. Or I could have called up the metadata workflow editor here, clear this out. I could have just set field. I could have changed this to manufacturer, three maze, and then run. I would have done the same thing. Um, so let's see what we've got here. I can see the folder names are quite good. So why don't I copy the folder name to the library field? Just run this, well, select all, run, there we go. Now I can see, do I really want that Unicode character at the end? Uh, do I really want three maids at the beginning? So what I could do now, let's see what I could do. I could do, there's so many ways of doing things, right? I could add and remove characters, which might be the best thing to do. So I'm gonna remove four, five, six, seven, eight from the beginning of library. Library. There we go. Run. And then for these guys, I'll remove, I can kill this action now. Remove one character from the end of library. Run. So that's done now. And these are all ambiences, so I could set the category. Now, I could use the workflow and I could use set field, but what I'm going to do is it always remembers the last field that I've clicked in. So if I hit E now, it will allow me to edit, which I just did with the manufacturer field, but I'm gonna do it for multiple records. And by doing that, I get this sort of interface thing. So I'll go ambiences. That's all set. Let's shrink the height down a little bit. And here I could put the URL of the, uh, whoever the manufacturer is, 3Maze, I could put their website URL in there if I wanted to. If I had uh, artwork, I don't, but if I did, I could just select the records, find the artwork file in Windows Explorer, and then drag and drop it onto the interface, and it would uh, assign the artwork. That's a pretty good little overview, I think, of the, the key features. So I'll stop there for now.